Hi everybody, I hope everyone's doing well. This video, I will be sharing with you guys my review on the Chanel Tweed Collection. So if you guys are interested, do stick around. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Christina. I do product reviews on luxury beauty, skincare, and makeup. Occasionally, I might share a luxury accessory review or a vlog here and there. So if that sounds like it's up your alley, please press the subscribe button down below and the notification bell beside it so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. So today, you guys, I am very excited to share the Chanel Tweed Collection with you. It has been much hyped about and raved about on social media and the anticipation was just so palpable even before its release date which was September 1st. As you can see I purchased it so I definitely fell fell into the hype or felt the hype definitely because I grabbed two out of the four palettes in this collection. Now I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen images on social media. I did grab two of the palettes but also received some new things that I got to try. And what I have on my eye right now is definitely just from this palette. This is a complete tweed collection look. So I'm gonna begin by sharing with you guys what I got on my pa in my haul. So the main two items I really purchased was the two palettes and this is number one Tweed cu Tweed Couvre and the second palette that I got is the number four Tweed which is Tweed Brune at Rose and then of course they launched or relaunched their Stylo waterproof liners which is holy grail to me you guys. The daily the only other daily eyeliner that I use is the Chanel Stylo Waterproof and I always have and they always get sold out of now number 88 Noir Intense or Black Intense and this new color that I purchased which is what I have on right now is number 58 Boy Noir B-O-I-S Noir all these products I will put the link down below and then they gave me oh, where is my I, they gave me a sample of the Noir Allure Chanel Mascara. This is the new mascara. It's also what I have on right now. And this is from the number one collection that launched this spring. This is the Fragrance Mist, Revitalizing Fragrance Mist, which I've tried. I think it is Camellia. This is, they also gave me the Anti-Pollution Exfoliate gel which I have not tried and they also gave me a sublimage the tint oh I should have used this or tried this for this video I have a Suki foundation now but I should have tried this I will try this and we will do a review next time so today you guys I'm gonna start with a two palettes I'm sure you've seen pictures all over social media this retails for a hundred Canadian which is honestly I was shocked with the price point because the Chanel eye palettes are usually 75 80 at the most so you're looking at 20 to 25 dollars more for this palette you're getting two grams now this is a limited edition collection I in terms of price point I I picked up my well, not picked up, but I I looked at my Tom Ford palettes, how many grams you get because the price point is very close. The Tom Ford eye palettes retail for 105 Canadian. I think there was a price increase this year, so maybe 110, but you get six grams with this. So that's like three times more than what you get with this Chanel Tweed collection. Just something to think about. So I'm gonna begin by showing you guys, of course, the palettes. So Tweed Couvre is what I have on right now. This is a very, like a warm, neutral, it's a classic colorway. Most of these colorways, I think, well not most, but this is probably the most classic. The main selling point of this item is the, instead of the velvet pouch that they come in, they come in a tweed pouch and usually it kind of mimics the colorway of the exact of the palette the corresponding palette in terms of packaging it is the classic eye palette packaging this is number one tweed couvre 
when you see the pan even the powder is pressed in such a way that it has a tweed pattern similar to the pattern of a tweed fabric so it's attention to details like that that really gets you especially if you like limited edition products or you collect limited edition products this is these are the swatches of the tweed couvre apparently just based off what other reviewers have said this is the most pigmented of the four palettes and I don't have all four but compared to the other one that I have I have two out of the four this is definitely more pigmented than that one it looks beautiful swatched I have it in my eye right now now this much I'm gonna say as a swatch it looks amazing but when I was actually applying I found it less pigmented than what I expected of course I did not expect a Tom Ford but for some reason I guess the previous reviews I'd seen had made me expect a bit more pigmentation than I usually am used to when it comes to Chanel but I have to remind myself that this is Chanel and this is not a uh, in general a high pigment kind of brand but on the swatch looks absolutely amazing I would have to say the lightest shade is a whisper it's it's definitely just an eyeshadow topper it's beautiful probably if you apply it with your finger it would look better because I used a brush to apply all this I think with the lightest shade in both palettes use your finger and I think it's gonna give you that better finish just with the warmth of your fingers because with the brush I was a little underwhelmed I felt like it didn't really show up much it was just and you do see like large shimmer particles scattered so I'm, I'm not a fan of that look but it's beautiful as a topper but I like more the consistent like this kind of sheen where it's just like a uniform shimmer I don't know if that makes sense the next one is number four tweed brune at rose this one is like your classic cool tone so number one was a warm tone these are classic colorways as you guys can tell I wasn't intending to get the most classic ones but it, it, it's what I gravitated towards I've tried this one as oh shoot I just nicked it so if you look at the colorway, this is very classic as well, but it's more on the cool side. I have tried this. I wore this the other day to work and I was honestly a little underwhelmed because like I said, the pigmentation, of course it looks pretty. It's Chanel. It's not going to look ugly ever. The formula is good, but I think I just found it a little on the lighter side and also it's a color like the color story obviously I have so much palettes but it's not just the color story but it didn't feel extraordinarily special that it was like mind-bogglingly different than any palette I have that is a similar colorway I hope that makes sense because sometimes Obviously, there's only so certain colorways or color stories that you can have, but usually if a formula is mind-blowing or really differentiates itself so well, I am still super impressed. And this one, I was just like, um, yeah, I, I've seen this. I, I have something like this that would give me a sim similar look. So again, it's the same. You have the tweed pattern on the pan. Now I'm going to show you this watch. Okay, you guys, so this is the swatch of the Brunette Rose. And the lightest one is the same characteristic. It has, it's very sheer and it has large shimmer particles that you can see. And then the gold here is almost nude. On my skin tone, I, I couldn't see it, but on the swatch, it looks amazing when you go back and forth. And then you have the transition color and then the deep or the accent color. It's a beautiful neutral, not exactly mind blowing. I don't know what else to say, but it's a beautiful neutral. And the swatch, the way it looks to me swatched, like when I'm looking at the monitor of the camera, it 
so impressive but for some reason when I was putting it on now I don't know if anyone else if you guys have tried it maybe let me know what brush you used or if you used your fingers maybe I'm just I haven't found the right way to maximize the effect of this formula but the swatches are beautiful you guys so this one is number one tweed couvre and this is number four tweed brunette rose and then you guys my holy grail why is this open so i just use this um the chanel stylo waterproof pencils they're the retractable one that you don't need to sharpen number 88 noir intense is something that i have with me i think for two three years now or maybe even more three or four years this is a daily liner for me let me just show you how intense i was very lightly tapping it because it's brand new look how sharp it is look how intense that is it doesn't move it doesn't budge it's just the right amount of creaminess it defines the eye so much you don't to me it's better than liquid liner because it's easier to apply but it gives me kind of the same effect this one i've been using lately this is number 58 noir i mean boy noir and this one is more like a dark charcoal brown gray i don't know if that yeah you can see the difference it's like a brown gray that's what i have on my eyes right now these retail for i think 48 canadian again the link will be down below these i highly recommend any color any color in fact i think they came out in the relaunch with a lot of new colors but my nordstrom here hasn't received it yet so i haven't purchased it but i highly recommend that and then last but not the least i want to share with you guys is the rouge uh, sorry the noir allure mascara now this one is said to have like it's a serum and mascara in one so it kind of enhances the performance of your mascara but at the same like intensifies it but also i think protects your lashes or creates for a healthier lash this is how the brush looks like it's silicone very small spikes i guess it's similar to the dimension dimension it's not the volume mascara the other mascara of chanel which i think is the yeah dimension mascara i i think i'm gonna put it somewhere down below you guys but um I've, I've been using it the sample size is actually pretty good it's not dried out i like it it just it defines it lengthens it kind of reminds me of the other previous chanel mascara so i don't know what the big difference is at least i haven't seen it from me trying it on but nevertheless i still like it there is no chanel mascara that i didn't like especially the volume like none of them are extremely like thick or they look like false lashes or they claim to look like that they're all very defining they separate well they don't smudge or clump which is a big thing for me i just like a elegant looking defined lash that you can be like every day but also use it to go out and it, 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 it it's very similar to the looks and the finishes that i get from the two other previous mascaras of chanel that i've used so i don't really know how different it is yet or i haven't really looked into like the new technology here but and as far as i'm concerned it just it performs good but it's similar to what they already have so that is about it you guys the other products i haven't really gotten a chance to try definitely i'd love to try the sublimodula tint and maybe i will share that in a video next i hope you guys found this video interesting and informative if any of you guys have tried this collection as well let me know your thoughts down below and if you agree with me so basically you guys I think it is of course it's good the quality of Chanel is always good it's consistent I don't think I've ever tried anything that was bad from Chanel maybe just not my preference but not bad the tweed collection I think for a hundred Canadian and like 20 to 25 dollars more than their usual 
palettes. I think it's a bit much. I know it's a limited edition collection. So if you're a collector, yes, go for it. It's always going to be pretty, you guys. You can tell. And if you don't have any of these colorways or you don't have any palettes like this, definitely, yes, do this one because it's limited. And of course, the tweed pouch or the tweed covering that the palette comes with is something very unique and special with this collection and if you like things like that then definitely purchase this i mean it's still it's it's very good so that is about it you guys thank you guys for watching and i hope you guys have a great day or a great evening